What's going on, y'all? It's your my head back here for another motherfucker back here today. It's my very Wednesday. Well, it's technically Tuesday, but I just realized I got an appointment tomorrow, so I'm. You guys aren't gonna see this until Wednesday, so yeah. Uh, this fucking excuse me. This fucking handle right here is gonna piss me off because it keeps fucking moving and it won't stay the fuck still. And I'm on my phone almost fucking broke because it dropped. So I've been spending the next, I've been spending the last two or three minutes trying to fix the motherfucker. I swear, y'all. Ew. Ugh. How the hell this is? Mm. No, I ain't not sure. Salsa. That's funky salsa right there. But today I am eating. Quesadilla, well, my mom's quesadilla, she said I could have it, so I was like, you know what, fuck it. I ate it for a mukbang, because I haven't done mukbang in a minute. Well, uh, different type of mukbang. I've been doing a lot of pizza mukbangs lately, so I was like, you know what, let's switch it up a little bit. This is from Cafe Rio. I get the burrito, but I was about to save my burrito, because I ate that motherfucker that night, all of it, because that shit is good as hell. But anybody who ain't been to Cafe Rio, or if there's a Cafe Rio in your state, because everybody ain't from AZ or in the Phoenix area. You need to go to Cafe Rio. It's worth your while. It's just as good as Chipotle. Well, let me rephrase that. It's not as good as Chipotle. It's almost at Chipotle's level. I'm going to give it that. I'm not going to give it all like, oh, it's better than Chipotle. Because come on now. Their burrito balls at Chipotle and their burritos at Chipotle. Top notch. Come on now. Can't, you can't overdo that. But... I don't really eat their quesadillas like that, so I'm gonna try and see. It's a, it's like two days or three days old. Hopefully it's good. I just warmed it up. It's feeling a little rough. If it's not as good, I'm gonna have my mom pick me up some while she got my grandfather's dialysis. Cause she usually gives him something after he's done. So if it ain't at his best, if it ain't at his best, so I just have her pick me up some if it ain't at his best. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that motherfucker's hot. Damn. Mmm. 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 I don't know, y'all. Mmm. I don't know. Mmm. know y'all it's already not giving me that mm. it's good but it's like mm, in the same in the same aspect i don't know how to explain it y'all if you know you know just put it that way mm. okay i just took a bite of chicken because i had to um Flour, flour is, mm, but with the chicken, it's, it gives it a little bit of a flavor, okay? I'm very picky. We're picky people when it comes to food. It's good, but it's not top notch good. Like, I've had better. Maybe that's why I don't get quesadillas like that. I just figured, hey, let me have it for my mother baby. Because it's something different. Mm.
今回うんget some of that pico on it I really want salsa but there ain't no more salsa in there so it's like gotta make do what you got This, um, it's good, but it's like not top notch good. I just, I don't know how to feel about this one. Mm. I mean, I ate it, but it's just like, mm. like I said, I'm a very picky eater. I'm like a food critic. If it ain't to, then I'm not having it. Like, this is like, this would be like a one time thing. Like, I would not eat this again. It was tolerable, but it was, it's not like I'm gonna eat it again. No. Try to watch down with some Sprite. Don't pop up. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to fizz up where it's like, Psh. I'm like, please don't. Because then I got to clean that shit up and I ain't nobody got time for all that. Yeah, I mean, I don't really, I didn't really have much to say. I was just gonna eat this, and I was just like, well, uh, but um, like as far as how I'm doing mentally, I'm doing good. Honestly, I'm really all we're doing right now is just like moving shit around. Like if you can see, I think I'll show y'all at the end of this video. But we got most of our shit over here that we're putting in storage, and then when we, as soon as as soon as that um. As soon as all that goes to storage, then all we gotta do is just get our clothes and shit when it's time to go and get the fuck out. And have all these travel nurses roam through this motherfucker and all that. Honestly, mm, you know, I'm gonna be at my grandparents for a little while, but I'm trying to currently get my friends to work at my job so that, because we're still talking a little bit about, you know, going forward with trying to get our own spot like all of us get a spot together and all that but um everybody's got to have income in order for that to happen so we try to get them some income coming in and see where we go from there with that because honestly i do not want to stay at my grandparents house like for a long time period of time I mean they say it's gonna be short term but you know you just never know shit happens life happens you never know where you can go about it don't get it wrong I love my grandparents I love my mom it's just you know it's one thing it was one thing with me staying under my mom's roof you know because mom rules and all that shit and, but then it's like you gotta stay with, I gotta stay with my mom I gotta stay with my grandparents as well and you know it's just like three combined it can be a lot you know, it can be a lot, especially with my grandfather and his condition. And it's uh, it's going to take some getting used to, like mentally wise, and because I'm, we've always been used to just having like our own spot. Like, we haven't had to live with them every like I haven't lived with them in a long period of time like that since I lived in um, my first neighborhood 
of this area. Like this area, Litchfield Park. And that was in Dreaming Summit, like Barrage Lane. That's where it's called, like my street, West Barrage Lane. That was in Dreaming Summit. Ever since then, I have not lived with them a long period of time. They lived with us. We didn't live with them. They lived with, them. They lived with us until their house was ready to go. And that was for like a year or two. And it was a lot. I mean, my grand my grandfather's condition wasn't as bad back then. Like he was still he still had his mind right and everything. But um it was still a lot, you know. Just yeah. It's never easy living with family. That's basically the gist of it. Anybody who lives with a whole bunch of family, like a big house, big family, all that, you know, you know. It's it can be a lot. It can be stressful at times too. And I mean, I guess y'all are probably like, Well, am I you're talking about how it could be stressful living with your family and all that, but you're trying to move in with all of your friends. I can see where you guys could twist that around and be like, mm, well, why are you moving in with your friends if you don't like living with a whole bunch of people? I didn't say I, I didn't like living with a whole bunch of people. I'm just saying it's a little bit, it's different in a way because I don't know how to explain it. I just don't know how to explain it. It's, it's different. I mean, when I cross that path, I guess I'll understand more. I'm not saying I can live with everybody because there are friends of mine that I can't live with. And I know I would not be able to live with. But then there are some who I do try to plan on staying with that I can live with easily. Because, you know, easy people, nice people. Well, how do I put it? Motherfuckers, they don't give you problems. I'm gonna just say it like that. Motherfuckers that don't give you issues, don't give you shit, I can live with. Motherfuckers that's gonna nag you, motherfuckers that's gonna give you shit, like when you walk the door or, and all that, I can't live with. That's long, basically, long story short, family or not family. That's how it is. That's basically how I can put it in that aspect. So, yeah, while I'm staying at my grandparents, I think I would like to try to look for the spot and all that while helping me get my friend's job. And the next step is try to get a license. Like, y'all, I be going. I be going. Like, I always have something, like my mind on something. Like, this move, I know I have no other choice but to, because, you know, my mom's gonna do this and all that. But that's not really, like, it is a, It is where my mind a little bit of that, but it's not, like, mainly out. Like, my main focus is, like, I have all these focuses, like, step by step. For one, do more content for you guys. That's the, that's another main step. Um, and then help get my friends a job. And then next step, after they get a job and start bringing us some income, then we work on trying to get us a spot. After that, then I will want to try to work on getting my license to drive. And then after that, well, we don't know what's after that. You know, probably something else. You know, I. Sh I stay going. I'm just try to do more and more and more and try to build for myself because, you know, it's all cute and everything, you know, when my mom try to do, you know, try to build and do like real estate and everything, try to get properties and all that, you know, for me and my brother, but I think it's more so I want to build. That's cool. I mean, I would still accept that. I would still accept that. But I also want to have on the other side something that I built for myself. Because me just living off of that, that means I'm just living off of that. I didn't really work for it. I didn't put blood, sweat, and tears on it. My mom did. And it really doesn't mean much, much, much of a lot. It still means something, but it doesn't mean a lot, a lot if I didn't work for it. I didn't put my, my blood, sweat, and tears on it. Like, I always say, like, my first house... I would like to own on my terms. You understand what I'm trying to say, y'all? Like, that feeling of you worked hard for this, you, you put your blood, sweat, and tears, whether it's work or all that, you you got it on your terms. That type of, you know, it's that feeling that's like, I did this, I did this, all me, you know? Or your partner, you know? If you have, if you, you and her or him or either one, you know, hey, it goes both ways in a way. But, um, you know, if you work hard on something and you got your partner by your side and all that, and y'all build something together, or it's just you and you're building something for yourself, 
Or for your kids and something like that. It's just that feeling. It's like it's it's a, it's a it's a it's a very 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 exciting feeling. That's really much what it is. But um, yeah, that's what I got going on. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. I don't know this. Mm, I just I don't know this. KCD, it just didn't really do it for me as much. Better luck next time, I guess. But I'm gonna get off here, y'all. I'm gonna need y'all to do I'm gonna need y'all to like, I'm gonna need y'all to comment, I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe. Hit that bell for notification for all the motherfucking base, and I shall see you in the next video. Dude, dude, nigga. I'm gonna get a fucking new handle because I can't stand this shit. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, y'all. I'm about to go. Okay, so this is all our shit right here. This is all our shit. against the wall that we are supposed to be putting in storage so far. And then we still got all this. Whoa, we're not taking the whole stuff. I think those two stands over there, those two right there are, I think we're taking down and going with us. Everything else, like the furniture wise, the couch are staying, the uh, lamps, those are staying. Kitchen set staying, bed, like our furniture furniture, big furnitures are staying, unfortunately. Well, I think when we get our own spot, I think we'll move it all out and replace it with some cheap furniture. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, hey, can't play too much, though, because cheap or not cheap, it's a house. And you got somewhere to sleep at night, so you got to do what you got to do for Airbnb. I mean, you're staying in an Airbnb. You're not staying in an old uh, mansion or a luxury shit that you buy on your own. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck y'all think y'all is, but uh, yeah. We gonna, um, as soon as we get our own, well, as soon as my mom get our own spot, because she gonna take all this shit with her, move it out, and then place it for some cheap shit. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we got going on. Oh, oops, 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 oops. She don't like to show her room because it's messy. But it ain't that messy. Shit. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we got going on. But, I'ma catch y'all on the flip side. Deuces, niggas.